In a world where sports are meant to unite and celebrate human achievement, the story of Emane Khalif has become a lightning rod for controversy, blending the lines between athletic prowess and the complex discourse on gender identity. The Algerian boxer, who recently clinched Olympic gold, has found herself at the center of a storm that extends beyond the ring, a storm fueled by allegations, speculation, and a global debate that challenges the very essence of what it means to compete on a level playing field. As the dust settles after her victory in Paris, the echoes of these controversies grow louder, raising questions that go beyond medals and into the heart of sports ethics. Emane Khalif's rise to Olympic glory was supposed to be a moment of triumph, a culmination of years of dedication and hard work. Instead, her victory has been overshadowed by a maelstrom of gender controversy, with critics and commentators questioning her eligibility to compete in women's boxing. Among her most vocal detractors is Joanna Nwamaru, a Bulgarian-Nigerian boxer who once sparred with Khalif. Nwamaru has not only claimed that Khalif is biologically male, but also suggested that the Algerian has been biologically altered by her upbringing in the mountain ranges of Algeria, a bizarre assertion that has only added fuel to an already volatile situation. This controversy comes on the heels of Khalif's disqualification in 2023 after the International Boxing Association, IBA, flagged her for elevated testosterone levels, a decision that has since cast a long shadow over her athletic career. The allegations against Khalif are as complex as they are contentious. Joanna Nwamaru's claims that she felt the male power and male techniques during their sparring sessions in February have ignited a fierce debate within the boxing community and beyond. Nwamaru insists that Khalif's physicality is consistent with that of a man, despite Khalif being born female and not identifying as transgender. These assertions are compounded by what Nwamaru describes as a biological alteration caused by Khalif's life in the mountains, a claim that veers into the realm of the extraordinary and unproven. Khalif's supporters, including her coaching team, have tried to counter these claims by attributing her high testosterone levels to natural variations possibly influenced by her environment. Her coach, Georges Cazorla, has confirmed that medical tests did indeed reveal a problem with hormones and with chromosomes, suggesting that Khalif may possess XY chromosomes typically associated with males. However, Khalif and her team have maintained that she is a woman, born and raised, who simply has an unusual biological profile that does not fit neatly into the binary categories traditionally used in sports. This controversy is further complicated by the political undercurrents surrounding the IBA, which has been criticized for its governance under Russian influence, particularly with the involvement of state-owned Gazprom as a primary sponsor. Khalif's disqualification last year, which occurred after she defeated Russian boxer Azalea Mineva, has been viewed by some as part of a broader geopolitical struggle, rather than a straightforward matter of athletic eligibility. The IBA's decision has left a lingering question mark over Khalif's career, a question that was brought to the forefront once again as she stood on the podium in Paris, tears in her eyes, gold medal around her neck. Despite the criticism and the taunts, including those from former U.S. President Donald Trump, who mocked her victory in a recent speech, Khalif has remained steadfast in her identity and her achievements. Her emotional response after winning her quarterfinal match, where she was moved to tears, speaks to the personal toll that this controversy has taken on her. Yet, she has also used her platform to assert her legitimacy as a competitor, stating, I am fully qualified to take part in this competition. I'm a woman like any other woman. I was born as a woman, I live as a woman, and I am qualified. The story of Emane Khalif is a poignant reminder of the complexities that arise when sports intersect with broader societal issues. Her journey to Olympic gold should have been a celebration of athletic excellence, yet it has become a flashpoint in the ongoing debate about gender, biology, and fairness in sports. As she returned home to Algeria, greeted by cheering fans who saw her as a national hero, the question remains, how will the sports world navigate these murky waters in the future? Khalif's story is not just about one woman's fight for recognition, it's a reflection of the challenges that lie ahead as we strive to create a more inclusive and equitable playing field for all athletes. And as the debate continues, one thing is certain, Emane Khalif's legacy will be remembered not just for her strength in the ring, but for the resilience she has shown in the face of overwhelming adversity.